Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been uh, quite a while before we've done an update, but again, I kind of warned you in the last one that we were doing mainly sanding, which is snoozer, right? Um, so anyway, I thought uh, I'd take the chance in this video to go over some of the features of the car. So what's it going to have in it? What kind of creature comforts is it going to have? Things like that. So uh, let's go take a look. So here we are in the cockpit of the car. Um, we have um, are going to appoint the cockpit very nicely. I'm going to do everything in uh, leather um, and potentially carbon fiber as well. Um, most of the uh, electronics are going to be uh, through these two screens. Um, so this one, which is the EFI, uh, screen that will actually be handling most of the engine uh, diagnostics uh, as well as all of the uh, switches for the car. So we're going to use a virtual switch panel. So I think that'll be uh, pretty cool. Um, Holly EFI is a, a pretty great system. Allows you to, um, you know good expandability and whatnot, so that we can add all sorts of different types of things to the to the vehicle. Um, we're going to have a tuned-in uh, radio, obviously. Uh, that will have Bluetooth connectivity and all that, so we can do nav and uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, we'll have about a 1,000-watt stereo in here, so it'll pump out some good tunes. Um, here's, here's one of my favorites, which is kind of hilarious, but we have a speedometer that goes up to 400 kilometers an hour. Um, will we ever get there? <laughs> Probably not. But I just thought it was kind of funny to have in the car. Um, and then also we have a tachometer that obviously is not for the LS1 because it probably will redline somewhere around here. Um, but I'll be able to see the needle pretty easily. Now, why would you say I would do this? Well, um, a lot of people have mentioned that, uh, that I should put a V12 in the car. I've thought about it. It's just uh, really expensive to go from this LS1 to um, a V12. And if I were to do a V12, it would most certainly be a Lamborghini V12. So those are expensive. Um, I'd also want to keep the uh, car a stick, so a manual transmission. Um, which may require uh, maybe an O3 Murcielago engine and transaxle. I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking about it, but um, again, it's it's probably something that we'll do in the future. The other thing is is that we have this awesome steering wheel. It's a flat bottom steering wheel that I got from an Audi. It's for an Audi R8. It's got a lot of nice little controls on it, and there's actually a provision to be able to use this to um, actually control the stereo. And so I've got all of the electronic uh, stuff that I need to, in order to be able to utilize these uh, CAN bus devices um, so that I can control the stereo. So we're gonna do that. You see a big hole here. Um, we're actually uh, getting a entire airbag, uh, an airbag ECU from an Audi um, R8. And we're also going to do a passenger um, airbag as well. So we'll have a little bit of uh, safety features in here um, that are not uh, from the Stone Ages. Now, some of the other things that we're doing, you may have seen this in the past, but we have a uh, power brake system. We are going to do power steering. We've already got the setup for that on the LS1. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's a power steering pump in there. And the other thing that we're doing is we're going to do um, AC. So we have a heater AC box. This is a vintage air system that um, I had on my Mustang project. And uh, I kept it, so we're going to put it here on this project. And so that'll be really nice to have air conditioning. Now, it is a convertible but, you know, 
I'm getting up in years, and so air conditioning and heat are nice. So those are some of the creature comforts that we're going to have in the in the vehicle. Now, one of the other things that uh, we've done, which uh, actually comes down to the doors, is that most of the doors that I've seen on the Aventador, um, they actually have uh, not a very good swing and so they come up to maybe about here which uh, makes it a little difficult to get into the vehicle and what we're doing is we're making them so they're almost vertical when they come up to make it a little bit easier to get into the vehicle now I don't know if you'd call this a creature comfort but um, you can see we have these um, bags on the coilovers these are to uh, actually get the car to ride over speed bumps and whatnot. Um, so we've got the air system hooked up. Um, you're not supposed to drive with these. Uh, I still need to figure out why that is the case. Um, I need to understand um, why this particular engineering uh, can't have a dynamic load on it um, while you're going down the road. So something I still have to investigate. but. Uh, We'll figure that one out, but for now, it's just for lifting the vehicle over the humps and bumps uh, so that we don't scrape off any body parts on the uh, on the uh, vehicle. So um, we're also going to do a roof. I'm saving that to uh, maybe do later uh, down the road. Um, obviously, I'm going to drive it when it's kind of sunny and nice out. So um, I won't have to do that in the short term. And then that brings us to the seats. Um, the seats here, these are actually relatively inexpensive seats that I got, um, but they're pretty darn comfortable. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them, but I'm gonna reupholster them. So we're gonna do the entire interior in leather um, with some carbon fiber accents, uh, as I said before. And um, so it should be, these seats should be pretty comfy. I'm not gonna heat them or air condition them, uh, but there's always the option of doing that later down the road. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just kind of a little tour of what we're thinking um, about the car and uh, what we're implementing as far as uh, uh, trying to make it a fun car to drive and comfortable and uh, so anyway, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, We have a some new swag that we're selling. We'll see how long we can do it before uh, people crab about um, uh, Some copyright issues maybe that there are because I've I've gone with one vendor who just absolutely wouldn't do our our t-shirts so anyway um, you can find those over here in the corner uh, we're doing some through custom ink so uh, hopefully we can get some of those done a uh, big shout out uh, to uh, Brett and Steve who are uh, the designers uh, of uh, some of the shirts that we're going to be putting up there uh, thank you very much you guys um, have offered to do some of the graphics so uh, big shout out to them um, anyway uh, thank you again we uh, look forward to uh, showing you some of the work that we were going to do this weekend, which is sanding. <laughs> Yay. Um, but we will probably, because the weather is going to degenerate around here uh, over the weekend and into early next week, we'll try to get that sanding done and maybe even shoot those panels with uh, some clear uh, so that we can get them back on the car. And then that way we can start on like things like the engine cover and some other uh, parts of the vehicle. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see you later. Bye.